Hi there guys, welcome back and today I am going to show you on how to create a ping pong game. Ok, so this works like this. So you click start and you play ping pong with the computer. Each time when the ball gets hit, the ball speed will get increased. Ok, let me score just one point. Oh. So, and you get points also, and there's a win and lose. So, this is how the game works. So, let's get back to coding. Okay, now first off, we are going to try to create our player's bat. So, we are going to create our bat. So, this is basically simple. You don't need to worry about it. So, go and create cover paint and create a sprite. From here, you're going to co make convert this to bitmap. And take a square, filled. Make sure this is filled. And I'm going to give this some white color. Yeah, that should do it. And draw a basic square. I mean something like a rectangular bat. Can put it in the center. As you all know, we can't see it right here, so let's go back to backdrops and convert to bitmap. And you'll get this fill. Click on the fill and set this to black. Perfect. And now we can see a player's bat. So now we all know that this bat is way too big. So let's go back back. Oopsie, my bad. And you can redo it. Okay. And now let's cut some shady pieces out of here. Like this. And we are going to delete it. Let's cut another piece from here. We'll delete it. And one piece from here. We'll delete it. Go ahead and cut a slight piece. That should do it. And delete. Okay. Vector. And put this in the center. Now it looks more like a bat. You can drag and put it in place. And we are, I'm going to set the size to 75. Okay, now this is our bat. So, let's do the coding for the bat. The coding for the bat is simply easy. Go for events, take one flag click, go on forever, take a forever loop, and Set Y, we're gonna go for here and get set Y to mouse Y. We're gonna go for sensing and get where is mouse Y? Okay, you have to go for sensing and get the mouse Y and drag and put it here okay so this is what you happens and click start and see we have a perfectly moving bat okay dodgy looking bat and now we have to make our opponent the computer's bat so before we make the computer's bat let's make the ball shall we so i am going to select a ball from here go to sprite and select the ball Okay, this seems a nice ordinary ball, but let's set this size to 50, do a little challenging, that's right. And costumes, I'm going to just cut all of these, and I'm going to convert to bitmap. And colored, I'm going to set this to a nice white, oopsie, and I'm going to read, undo it. vector so now I have created my ball a white color ball and back to code so the balls code is a bit tricky but let's try to do it 
Okay. First, all we need is one flag click, and this ball has to come to the center of this screen. So motion and get go to Y, set it to zero and Y also zero. So when you click flag, it goes for the center of the screen. Great. And now point in direction. Let's find that point in direction. Here we are, point in direction. Now we are going to pick a random direction. We don't want any, you know, fair reason to go for player or computer. So we are going to just letting the ball to decide for who to go. So pick a random. And zero to three sixty. So this decides on what side you need to go. Okay. And for the variables, this is the first variable, and we are going to name it ball speed. Good. And next, variable loop. Got in a variable loop, and we are going to move ball speed. Get on my ball speed. So whenever this moves, now let's see. Oh, and also we have to set the ball speed. See, Lenny, you have to set the ball speed to four. Now let's see. There we are. Okay, it doesn't seem quite to bounce around. So let's put on a code called if on edge bounce now let's try it. now it runs more smoothly okay and now we are going to get an if block get into operators and get or sensing touching you got to duplicate this and put another one in here mouse point sprite one but I'm not gonna depend on sprite one I'm going to name my sprite one player uh, oh we almost forgot the computer bet so let's create another one oh wait we can duplicate this duplicate and there we are, we have another bed. But we are not going to make it as the same this one. Okay. Now the ball, player, and player 2. I'm going to name player 2 as computer. Good. And now we have computer and player. Go for control. If take a operator greater than direction, get in direction, first to greater than 180. Let's see. Okay. Point in direction. Okay, so we are going to do a bit math around here. So get in operators plus put it in, and we are going to bring again operators. I mean, we are going to get the direction duplicate, put in here, and pick a vendor, put it in there, and 150. 180 okay let's see how this works oh so I see it's just keep on bouncing up and down so this happens randomly okay so it bounces okay so we can hit the ball now perfect 
and let's do the same thing the other way and now let's set this take this out and put in less than direction 180 now we're gonna put this back out and oh and almost forgot we're gonna move the ball speed oopsie we're gonna move the ball speed and we're gonna remove this duplicate this and we are going to put in both the if okay so now we have it now we are going to change ball speed by let's say 0 0.5 yeah that should do it 0 0.5 okay now we are going to get in another if then and operators greater than uh, let's say x position where's x here we are x position to to 20 yeah and we are going to broadcast a message broadcast message new message computer score so now whenever the ball goes and hits the other side of the net the computer gets a score so we are going to broadcast a message computer scores and we are again need to go back to the center so again zero zero center of the screen and again point in direction zero to three sixty and again we have to set the ball speed back to its normal original speed ball speed to four okay and now I'm just simply going to duplicate this code and put it back in and going to put oh wait for this we get to need a different operator this one put it inside and minus 220 oh wait it's just 220 okay so this is the bolts code and now we are gonna need oh wait we almost forgot we have to broadcast another message player score perfect and now computers bet we are gonna program the computers bet and forever loop if then we are gonna need an operator then we are gonna put y position y position and I'll take another y position out mm -hmm. let's see Oh, we're gonna put this in. Gonna put oh, I almost forgot. You have to set this to ball and then select Y position. And we are gonna change Y by mm, minus 4. Okay. And I'm going to just simply duplicate this. We got to change the sign. Right position and put this back in. And 
set this to full. Okay, that clears it up. And now we gotta need to set a score. So it depends on how merciful you have to be on keeping the score. So uh, I'm gonna give the score five. Whoever wins up to five is the winner. Yeah. So mm, choose. Wait, choose sprite. I'm gonna choose sprite. We are gonna keep letters. Find the numbers. Where's the numbers? Scroll down. Here are the numbers. So close zero. I'm gonna set this to zero and fifty size. And set this to let's see player score. Okay, so this side is the player score, and this side will be the computer score. Nice. And now, uh, So now I'm going to set this up to 15 scores. So I have to choose costume. Scroll down to the end of it and select one. Again, I'm just going to see a glow. Two. Then again, glow three. That's so on. So until I get up to fifteen. So continue. Okay, let's do until fifteen. Yeah. Four. Okay. So I have set this up to ten scores. So that should be enough. Yeah. And we are going to go for code. Same thing we have to do for the player score. So I'm going to discard, duplicate again, and call this player score. Okay. So now we have to arrange these scores. So find 10. So this is computer score, and this is player score. Got to set them high up. So this is player, this is computer. And go for events, switch costume to glow zero. So you have to, s at first, you have to switch it to zero. And when you receive computer score, you have to switch to the next one. So looks, next costume. And then back to events. When I receive computer score, and then from here you have to select if then operator equals costume number. Costume number 10. No, it's 11. Broadcast. Gonna broadcast a new message. Lost. You lost. Okay. And then we are gonna do the same thing for the player. Gonna just drag and put in the player. Player. For this, you may have to change a bit in the player. Player score. And here again, player score in the player score.
copies here and now set and broadcast you win okay now we have to go to the backdrops and then receive and then when I receive you lost we are gonna create another one called you lost I'm gonna give a nice bright red saying you let's give it in a game form so pixel you lost it's more if you give it in capital okay so that's like you lost put it in the center and then we are going to duplicate and make another one called you won so that's nice and a bit big and I'm going to set this to win and to lost perfect set this to regular okay and now when I receive lost we have to set the background to lost duplicate when I receive you win set background to win and of course events one green flag clicked switch background to regular okay so that's what we want and we are going to cover variables and hide ball speed okay so it's hidden let's try to play this game okay oh, was it fast seems like there's some issue in this so I think it's in the player no the computer oh yeah I forgot uh, the ball this X should be minus 220 okay so now let's see what it this runs nicely okay seems like this runs seems like the ball is run getting faster and faster it's getting trickier so let's see who wins oh there seems to have been a problem the computer score doesn't get Oh yeah, you have to get this in here so that this runs perfectly. Do not put it inside this loop, but you have to put it out of it. Okay, let's test it. Okay, it runs. Okay, this is like a battle. The ball is getting faster. So let's see whether my count is perfect. Okay. So this runs well and the computer has scored a goal. Okay. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Bye.